hi it's Danny uh, welcome welcome to this video welcome to my channel and if you're turning welcome back thank you so much for joining me today deep deep gratitude to you for being here with me right now I appreciate you so what are we doing today what is this I have in front of me well this is my um, Moterm cover in black um, in the size B6 and this is my B6 Stalogy, which is what I will be using for the month of August and hopefully the rest of the, ye yeah, the, rest of the year. Um, so why did I switch? Because technically I still have many, um, well I have a couple of empty A5 Loistrums um, and I do plan to use them in the off season. But right now, I need something that's going to be much, much portable. Something that I could carry, like, my IDs and identification in and any extra um, stuff or notes in my book. Um, I want to be able to port that with me wherever I go. Since I'm going to be in-person teaching, I want to be able to take as many notes as possible. And um, I found that this has more pages than the A5 Loistrum. The A5 Loistrum has um, 251 pages while this has 372, 372 or 373 pages and so I'm going to, I know I'm going to be taking more notes and I want my lesson plans carried with me everywhere I go so I can have these conversations and um, yeah so that's why I decided to move to this um, B6 Dology. So it's all tucked in, so I'm not going to untuck it, but it's the usual black cover. Um, and the reason why these ribbons are mangled is because my cats are jerks. <laughs> um, so I already set it up. Um, I didn't record that with you guys because I was trying to see if I was going to use the A5 or the B6 Dology. So um, the A5 Loistrum or the B6 Dology. So usually what I do is I will write in whatever I plan to use to see how it feels. Does it feel organic? Does it feel comfortable? Does it feel like it works? Do I enjoy the writing? If I enjoy writing in it and I feel compelled to write in it, that means I'm going to use it. So I started playing like I have another um, B6 Dology and this is kind of like a commonplace uh, Salogy where I just write notes from meetings, my Zoom meetings and everything. And so I started practicing in here, writing out a calendar and writing out uh, like a log and seeing how I liked it. And I liked it, so I took one of my newer Salogies, my empty Salogy, and started making my uh, rest of the year spread. So my um, philosophy or... Uh, mantra for this year is going to be is keep trying but um, for the rest of the year it's going to be keep fighting because life is a battle sometimes and you got to keep fighting for the things you want you got to keep trying got to keep pushing regardless so it's keep fighting keep pursuing the things that I want and my um, my uh, quote for this book is going to be be the light you want to see in the world so whatever positivity, whatever creativity, whatever kindness, whatever compassion, whatever gracefulness, whatever forgiveness I want to see in the world, I need to be it. So that's my that's what I'm going to go by moving forward. 2021, obviously, this is the year I started off in August, September, October, November, December. And then I decided I may need the dates for um the pre like early January earlier this year so I put the remaining um, months or the earlier months in after December I know it's a little confusing but that's how I do things backwards as fuck um, here's my period tracker um, my binge eating and alcohol um, consumption as you can see the circles are the alcohol. I, I still am sober. I've been sober for three months. It's going on four in August. We're going to get to four in August because my husband is also staying sober with me. And so um, it's great having that support and encouragement. So most definitely going to reach that four month 
anniversary in August. Um, as far as binge eating, <sighs> um, July wasn't that great. I think my best month was March. Oh no, this was May. As you can see in May, I barely binge ate. And April, I had some very good times, very sparingly binge ate, but July, look at this, this has been crazy. Like I've had more periods eating, um, binge eating than I did before. I was stressed and anxious, and these are excuses um, for a compulsion that I need to figure out ways to cope with much, much better. So, any little, my birthdays, for my friends and family, people who have Facebook, people who don't have Facebook, just for the special ones that I definitely want to mem remember. My future log in the Alistair method, where I just, S is for September, October, November, and so on. And for the January, this is January of 2022. So this is definitely a future log. It's not a future retro log. <laughs> so, um, and, and so, so far, nothing. So, or two events. Um, these are my 2021 goals, my 2021 affirmations, and then we go on to August. And my motto for the month of August is be engaged. And that means um, be connected, be open, as open as possible to connections, to be immersed, to um, be engaged, to be like, allow for connections is really what I mean by um, be engaged. So my goals is to binge eat less, more painting, exercise four to six times a week, more meals at home, and thankfully my husband is down with me like to do this. We only ate out since he's been home twice in a uh, seven, no, eight day span, and we already have dinner planned for today. Um, and I've been eating my meals as regular, doing my meal plan, so we've been doing really well with that so far. Read as much as possible, I need to start working on that, and be open, engaged, and myself, which I'm going to try to do while I uh, navigate new waters, which is like encounter people I haven't encountered. I've seen them in Zoom, and now I'm going to see them in person, hopefully. Um, August, this is the month of August. This is my schedule for um, the month of August. It's quite busy. It gets busier at the end of the month when the semester starts. Alanis Morissette and garbage. Yes. Um, therapy, 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 as always. And um, yeah, so this is my appointments. These are my appointments and tasks, events that are happening, um, meetings that are happening. Uh, so this is my August tracker. Um, hasn't been filled in yet because we haven't started August yet. My August goals, it's pretty much the same format as my other, um, my previous bullet journal. Um, my mood tracker, um, cravings, which I connect cravings and moods, uh, and I like to keep a record of that. And this is my workout routine. I want, it was in my previous bullet journal, but I wanted to bring it over here and, I accidentally skipped a page like the pages were connected and I ended up writing my wins and my brain dump after so I was just like let me fill in this page with my workout routine why not and um, my August wins and brain dump and um, the next page is going to be another video but what I plan to do I'll tell you what I plan to do for this bullet journal that's going to differ from my other bullet journal so um, that's it for uh, the month of August. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me. I know I switch up and switch things around all the time. I was thinking about going back to a Hobonichi, um, but I decided against it because I just wasn't feeling it. I feel like writing all my dates and everything like that and being really engaged with a notebook, an empty notebook, has helped my memory so much. And so I could plan to continue that. And so... I know this is going to work out for me, and I'll tell you more about my plans for this journal as we move forward. So thank you so much for watching. Um, deep gratitude again to you for being here with me and making it this far into the video. So please like, comment, subscribe, do as you deem fit, and I will be sure to catch you on the flips. Bye.